In this lesson, students will be using paperclip models to model the transfer of electrons between atoms. Each student will start with one index card and three paper clips. Have them draw three positive charges in the center of their index card to represent the nucleus of the atom. At this point, students have learned that there is another particle in the nucleus of the atom that is neutral. So you can have them draw neutrons in. This is a lithium atom. They have not yet figured out how to predict the number of neutrons. That'll come in a later unit. So you can just ask them to add four neutrons at this point. Point out that these paper clips, if we look at them the right way, look just like a negative sign and that can help us remember that electrons are negative. Have students add their paper clips to the edges of the index card, just like electrons are located outside of the nucleus. Once each student has created an electrically neutral, three positive, three negative atom, students will work in pairs to demonstrate how electrons can move between atoms. So by moving one index card behind the other, one atom is able to pull an electron off of the other, demonstrating how during friction, um, one electron can actually move between atoms. At this point, students should be able to see that one of these atoms now has three positive charges but only two negative charges remaining. So this is a positively charged atom. And the other atom still has three positive charges, but now has one, two, three, four negative charges. So this is a negatively charged atom. Students should be able to demonstrate that the positive and the negatively charged atoms will experience an attractive force. Students should also be able to demonstrate that if you have two atoms with the same charge, in this case, two positively charged atoms, they will experience a repulsive force. 